welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Holy Squacamole by Susan Wood and illustrated by Laura Gonzalez. Well, Little Red Hen wants to make some guacamole. She goes to all of her friends one by one and she asks them if they would help her to gather ingredients. And they all say no, but they sure to help eat it. Let's find out if she decides to share in the end or if maybe she has a surprise for them. Let's see. One day, Little Red Hen was hungry for guacamole. She looked around her cozy cucina. She had mesa and cumin. She had beans and queso. She didn't have any avocados. And there's no guacamole without avocados. So Little Red Hen trotted to the avocado grove. That's a tall tree, Cody. Will you help me gather avocados for my guacamole? I'm hanging out, but I'll help you eat it when it's done, Galanita Roja. Nothing beats a tasty guacamole. Then I'll gather the avocados myself, said the little red hen, and she did. Now little red hen had her avocados, but she needed tomatoes. There's no guacamole without tomatoes, so little red hen trotted to the vegetable garden. Holy squacamole, she clucked. Those tomato vines are tangly. Snake, can you help me pluck tomatoes for my guacamole? Not I, his snake. I'm all tied up, but I'll help eat it when it's done, Galanita Roja. Nothing beats a tasty guacamole. Then I'll pluck the tomatoes myself, said Little Red Hen, and she did. Now Little Red Hen had her avocados and tomatoes, but she needed onions. There's no guacamole without onions. So Little Red Hen trotted to the onion patch. Holy squacamole, she clucked. Those onions are buried so deep. Armadillo, will you help me dig onions for my guacamole? Not I, grunted Armadillo. I gotta jump, but I'll help eat it when it's done. Galanito Roja, nothing beats a tasty guacamole. Then I'll dig the onions myself, said Little Red Hen, and she did. Now Little Red Hen had her avocados, tomatoes, and onions, but she needed cilantro. There's no guacamole without cilantro, so Little Red Hen trotted to the herb garden. Holy squacamole, she clucked. The cilantro is bushy. Iguana, will you help me snip cilantro from my guacamole? Not I, chirped Iguana. I'm busy basking, but I'll help eat it when it's done, Galanita Roja. Nothing beats a tasty guacamole. Then I'll snip the cilantro myself, said Little Red Hen, and she did. Now Little Red Hen had her avocados, tomatoes, onions, and cilantro, and she needed to mash and mix them. There's no guacamole without mashing and mixing, so Little Red Hen trotted back to her casa. Holy squacamole, she clucked. This mulgetti is a lot of work. Will you help me mash and mix? Not I, his snake. Not I, grunted armadillo. Not I, snorted Cody. Not I, chirped iguana. But we'll hel help eat it when it's done, Galanita Roja, they said together. Nothing beats a tasty guacamole. Then I'll mash and mix myself, said Little Red Hen, and she did. Then she added something special. At last the guacamole was done. The avocados were creamy, the tomatoes were tangy, the onions were zesty, the cilantro smelled heavenly. Holy guacamole, Little Red Hen clucked. That's a lot of guacamole. Who will help me eat this? I will, snorted Cody. I will, his snake. I will, chirped Iguana. I will, grunted Armadillo. Nothing beats a tasty guacamole, they said together. Cody tucked it in, into a, in a hot taco. Snake scooped it with a tortilla. Armadillo rolled it into a burrito. Iguana slurped it straight. Mmm, they all said. Suddenly, they stopped chewing. They huffed and puffed. They winced and wheezed. They sweated and slobbered. Holy squacamole, they all hollered. 
That's a smoking hot guacamole. Little Red Hen smiled. Nothing beats a tasty guacamole, she clucked, and together they ate every spicy bit. Well, they didn't want to help Little Red Hen, did they, when it came to making the guacamole, but they were sure there to eat it. But she had a surprise for them when she had those chili peppers in it, right? I guess they enjoyed it anyway after they got used to their mouth burning. I hope you enjoyed the story, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.